hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to create attendance excel workbook with the help of face recognition program so we are going to basically create a face recognition program and with the help of face recognition program we are going to recognize the user and then we are going to add their name inside our excel workbook also the current time also the current date also we are going to add here if the person is basically on time or if the person is late for office time so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel so let's get started so first we need our repository so i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside the browser then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format folder so inside folder manager or file manager we have downloads then this is what our folder right click winrar extract to the folder so face record attendance again same folder and here we need a dlib package so this is the zip folder which we have inside our repository we need to extract the folder so click on extract here and it will extract our folder name inside that folder we have our dlib package so now just open thony thony so friends we have our thony python id ready so just go tools open system shell and here we need to run the command cd dot dot cd dot dot and we need to go inside basically the downloads folder then run the command cd and mention the folder where you download your repository that's it so i have download the repository inside downloads folder so right now i am inside downloads folder as you can see downloads cd and our repository name is basically face reco attendance so cd face press tab button it will auto complete the repository name that's it just hit enter again cd face press tab button it will auto complete our folder name okay now we are inside inside our folder here it is as you can see downloads we have face reco attendance excel main again same folder now we are inside our final folder which is face reco attendance excel main and here we need to go inside delete for python 3.10 folder so just run the command cd delete and press tab it will auto complete the folder name hit enter that's it as simple so we are now inside our delete folder where we have our delete package so first package we need which is c make so pip pip install c make and just hit enter it will install c make package then we need our delete package let me make full screen so we need our delete package so we are now inside our delete folder where we have our delete package so pip install install mention the dlib then press tab button it will auto complete the package name hit enter and it will install delete which i have already installed now we need open cv package so again run the command pip install open cv hyphen python open cv hyphen python and it will install open cv on our windows machine then we need pip install face recognition face recognition hit enter and it will install face recognition then we need pillow package so pip install pillow and hit enter it will install pillow package on our windows machine then for excel we need open py excel okay so pip install open py excel just hit enter so it will install open py excel package on our windows machine so we have done with package installation so simply minimize the cmd and this is what our thony python id so here simply we are going to open our code so file click on open and first we need our images so data load open the data load python script so this script will basically capture the user images means the snapshot and it will save the images inside the folder 
and then with the help of face recognition it will compare the images and it will say this is this one user this is this one user and it will save the data inside our excel workbook so i have create this program for raspberry pi 4 that's why as you can see here we have slash home slash pi images so here we need to mention our window machine folder paths so what we are going to do we need to open our folder and this is what our repository here simply create a new folder and mention the folder name images or you can mention any name then right click to the folder and copy as a path because we need a path and here remove from images remove from images okay that's it and then just press ctrl plus v it will copy paste the path which we copy for images folder then remove this double quote and here also remove this double quote mention r for recursive and mention single quote and then here also because we need to save our images inside our images folder so here we need to mention slash then single quote that's it and then same path just copy it just copy it from here just copy it here and then mention here remove this slash images don't remove the star and all these things just remove uh, slash on slash by images folder and press here control plus v again it will copy paste our this path okay then here also we need to mention a single quote so remove this single quote double quote also mention here single quote only mm, okay like this way here and here also we need to remove this double quote and mention single quote that's it now what will be happen when we capture our image it will automatic save the image the user image with dot jpg format and the person name which we are going to uh, mention this is the person name and it will save the images all inside our repository and images folder that's it we have done so you need to mention the folder path i hope you all clear just save it then run the code i have connect the usb camera so as you can see it will open this kind of window and here we need to mention the username so right now i'm in front of the camera so i need to mention my name so this is what our username then you need to click on snapshot button it will capture the snapshot and then we need to click on update it will update the username as you can see so sanket prabhu is basically the username and this is the image name which save inside our images folder as you can see this is what the image now i am going to add here a new image also so i have here tom cruise image in my mobile so first let me add the name uh, tom cruise okay and then i will show the photo okay this one as you can see and i'm going to simply i need to simply click on the snapshot button click on the snapshot and then click on update and as you can see it's it added the tom cruise name okay so if i open the folder downloads and the face roco folder same folder again images as you can see we have two images first is mine second one is tom cruise that's it we have done so we have done with images now we have data so this is the way you need to add the users which you want to recognize and this this is not error so just ignore this is not error so just open our main means our final code just open it so friends this is what our final dot pi uh, this is how i have import all the packages then here we need to mention the path where we save our images 
so here it is as you can see i have mentioned the raspberry pi 4 path so here simply we need to mention our windows machine path so go to our data load .py file and this is the path as you can see this is the path where we save our all images so, so just copy as it is just copy as it is just copy it and open our final dot pi and just remove all the path the old path and just paste it here paste windows machine path which we have inside our data load dot pi here this one path okay and then just save final dot pi that's it now it will it will basically read all the images from our images folder then we have here create or open workbook function which basically create a new workbook name with a date as you can see name with a date that's why i have mentioned the current date okay so this function basically create our workbook then we have username unique function it will check if the username is unique or not okay means it will not add the same user again and again in our workbook then we have is late or on time function which basically check our user is is on the time or is basically late okay so then we have a main function this is the function for a face recognition program this is the function for uh, creating the column as you can see add column headers if the sheet is empty so it will create username current date header current time header and mark header simple so here it is as you can see i have mentioned current time str dt string it will check the current time right now uh, 1546 in india mumbai and here i have mentioned the target time str means the time which we want to target for the user for we can say simply this is what the office time or this is what the class time or this is what the lecture time so i have mentioned here 12 so right now here 1547 so i am going to mention 15 okay and threshold minutes so threshold minute is basically a uh, what it will check if the user is on time means 15 pm and if you if you want to add the threshold let's say 15 6 minute then you need to mention this minute over here okay so this is the main function and this is the encoding function for face recognition and then we have simple face recognition program okay so as you can see we have your face location and then we will put the rectangle and then we will put the text or the username okay so we have in time function we have main function for uh, creating the uh, creating the workbook and then uh, adding the user uh, current time current date and if the if the user is on time or 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 let we can say and then we have here is let or on time function then username unique function and then create or open workbook function that's it we have done now what we are going to do let me start the code and then you will get the idea how it's work okay so i have mentioned here the office time 15 as you can see right now 15:48, and i have mentioned the 6 means 15 six minute this is the office time so now user is come in front of the camera the mark will be late because we mentioned 15 six minute the office time so if i save the code if i run the code so friends as you can see i have started the code the final dot py it's recognized my face and it's enter the current time and my name and mark inside the excel sheet okay so if i stop the code and if i open the downloads and our folder face record and here it is as you can see 202306 this is the name of our workbook the current date just open it with excel and as you can see we have here workbook let me show you like this way okay this is what my name the current date current time and mark is late why late 
because inside our code we mentioned the users want to users want to come at 15 6 minutes after that the mark will be late now what we are going to do right now time is 15:51 so just change this 6 with 55 let's say and if i save the code and if i run so the my entry is right now late it will not add the same entry again okay now if i run the code and because we have tom cruise image in our data so we are going to simply mention the tom cruise attendance let's just check just a minute oh so as you can see we have error why because i open there is an excel sheet is open so we need to close the excel sheet just save it now because if the excel sheet is open the entry will not go in our excel simple so we need to close the excel sheet now i am going to start the code then we have here our user so let me show and as you can see it's detected the tom cruise photo it means it's entered the entry inside our excel so again i am going to open i have stopped the code okay and i will open the excel and here it is as you can see tom cruise and the mark is as you can see on time on time it's detected my image also but it's not add as a new entry because we mentioned the unique user format unique user function means it will not add the same user again and again so the mark for me is late and mark for tom cruise is on time because we change the time we mention here 1555 and right now the time is 1553 so that's why the tom cruise entry the mark is basically on time that's it so this is how friends with the help of face recognition you can create attendance of system and you can add the entries inside the excel remember one thing when you start the code you need to simply close the excel sheet otherwise it will not add the entry that's it i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video i have mentioned full code in repository you need to simply change the path you need to simply mention the images path images folder the path uh, where you uh, where we basically save our all images okay so we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye